of the third question children. So I read you the question in the figure. This is the figure. AB is parallel to DE and they have given angle BAE is 35 degree and angle CDE is 50 degree. They are asking us to find out what is angle DCE means angle C is question mark. They are asking us to find out what is angle DCE. So let us write the given data. In the figure AB is parallel to DE, angle BAC is 35, CD is 53 degree. Now angle BAE is equal to angle DEC, is it not children? Look at angle A and angle E, are they not Z shaped angles? So Z shaped pair of angles are obviously alternate angles. Hence we can say angle A is equal to angle E, that is what we have done. Reason C, alternate angles. So, we can say that angle uh, E is also equal to 35 degree. Why? Because they both are alternate angles. Next, consider this small triangle DEC. We find it out E means by applying angle some property. Easily you can find out one more angle that is angle C. That is what we have done. For this small triangle DEC, angle D plus angle C plus angle E is 180 degree. By angle some property, we know how much is angle D. Substitute 35 degree. Sorry, 53 degree. Angle D is 53 degree. Angle C, D, C, E, keep it as it is. 35 plus 53 is 88 degree. Angle D, C, E is 180 minus 88 which is equal to 92 degree. So, angle C is 92 degree. That's all. Which is very simple problem. Fourth question in the figure. If lines P, Q and R, S intersect, you have the figure again in the next page. 5th, 6th, 7th, I mean sorry, 4th, 5th, 6th problem children. In the figure, lines P, Q and R, S intersect at point T. Mm, lines P, Q, P, Q and lines S, T. Here, this line and this line are intersecting at some point T. Such that angle P, R, T is equal to 40 degree and angle T S Q or R P T is 95 degree. Yes, angle P is 95 degree and angle S is 75 degree. Find angle S Q T means in this small triangle children, what is angle Q we need to find out. This is also again very simple problem. Now look, first this in this triangle you consider children. Why we are considering this triangle means this triangle has two known angles for us. When we know two angles, easily we can apply angle sum property and find out the third angle. If you find out angle T, then this angle T is common for both the triangles. If you consider this as one triangle and this as the second triangle, both the triangles have one vertex, top vertex in common that is angle T or side T, vertex T children. Now, if you find out angle T by applying angle sum property for first triangle, then these two angles will be equal by both are vertically opposite angles and hence you can easily find out angle T. Once you know angle S and angle T, finding out angle Q by applying angle sum property. That is what I have done here. Like this children, you should try to uh, uh, think what I should do in order to find which data, which uh, how to use the given data that you should learn children. Blindly don't copy. So now in triangle PQR, angle P plus angle R plus angle T is 180 degree. Angle sum property I applied, 40, 95 are substituted and I got angle T to be equal to 45 degree. Now this angle T and this angle T of both the triangles are equal. I have written by vertically opposite angles therefore angle STQ is also equal to 45 degree. Now I know what is angle S, what is angle T means for a triangle STQ for this small triangle if you apply angle sum property. 40 plus, plus 75 is 120, 180 minus 120 we clearly got angle Q to be 60 degree that's all children. So this is about the fourth problem. I have explained you very fast I hope but nothing new. So I went little faster. So that is about the Sorry, fourth problem. We are left with last two, two problems. Fifth problem, I think you can do children. Take it as homework. Given figure 3.43, second figure you should refer. If PQ is perpendicular to PS. If PQ is perpendicular to PS means clearly angle P is 90 degree that they have only given. 
and angle SQR is 28 degree, QRT is 65 degree. Find the values of X and Y. So you can apply the concept of uh, angle sum property. Exterior angle is equal to interior opposite angles. Go for alternate angles you will get. Like this you try to apply how, how to make the and find out the unknown angles by the given angles, uh, alternate varata, corresponding varata, do we get linear pair, if at all two angles are there, if I find, apply angle sum property, will it help me in finding out the other angle, like this all that you should apply, try applying it and solve it children, so fifth problem you will be solving for me, so sixth problem children, in the figure side QR of a triangle PQR is produced to point S, so we have basically the triangle PQR, the side QR of the triangle is produced up to point S. If the bisectors of angle PQR and PRS meet at point T, then prove that QTR is half of QPR is the question. It is very simple, looks complicated. We have triangle PQR, side QR of the triangle PQR is produced up to point S. Clear up. Now, for angle PQR, a bisector is there. So, this line is the bisector for angle Q. Similarly, for angle R, this is the bisector. For angle PRS also, bisector is there. So, those two bisectors is dividing the angle Q and angle R into two equal halves. That you know we applied already for the previous one of the problems. Sir. Now, those two bisectors are meeting at point T. That you should note. Both the bisectors are meeting at point T. Now, they are asking us to prove angle QTR. This QTR is half of angle QPR. So, angle P and angle T both forms the vertex angle now. It looks like the vertex angle. We need to prove angle T is half of angle P, that is vertex angle P of PQR, triangle PQR. In order to do that children, in triangle QTR, which triangle? The new triangle formed, I will shade it for you. In triangle QTR, means the triangle which we obtained by joining the bisectors of two triangles, I'm sorry, two angles. That is QTQR, in triangle TQR, TRS is an exterior angle. Alba. For the shaded triangle children, TRS is an exterior angle. Therefore, we can write angle TRS is, that is theorem 3.8, exterior angle is sum of interior opposite angles. Andre. TRS is the exterior angle. Its interior opposite angles are angle QT, uh, sorry, RTQ and angle RQT are the interior opposite angles. That is what we have written. Therefore, angle TRS is QTR plus TQR. Now children, this angle QTR I am keeping as it is. I am rearranging it. Why? Because this rearrangement is done based on the required proof. What is asked? QTR is half of QPR we need to prove means QTR I want on my LHS. That is the reason from this equation what we got from theorem 3.8 from that I am picking QTR will be equal to. Look children, E equals I am not shifting. Please don't get confused by changing the sign that I always tell you. This QTR I am keeping as it is, TRS as it is I will keep, is equal to as it is I will keep, QTR as it is I will keep. I am sending TQR to LHS so it becomes minus TQR. That is what I have done. But terms of LHS and RHS have exchanged. When I am shifting whole LHS and RHS for my convenience in order to keep QTR on LHS, I am doing that. So again don't change the sign. When I shifted TQR to LHS, I made it minus TQR. That is only the change I made. And I am calling it as equation 1. Similarly, in triangle PQR, since I have shaded this, I will draw lines for this triangle so that it will be easy for you to understand. Now, in triangle PQR also, children, PRS is an exterior angle. So, for triangle PQR, 
PRS is exterior angle and it is equal to sum of interior opposite angles and right is angle Q plus angle P. So that is what we have written. PRS is an exterior angle and right. Angle PRS is PQR plus <coughs> QPR. But angle PRS is yalla. This angle PRS is angle PQT plus PRS. Allah. Why children? For angle PRS, the bisector is RT. And I said you, the bisector will divide the angle into two equal halves. So, this PQR, but PRS is what? Two times of TRS. T angle PRS by bisector RT is divided into PRT plus TRS. But angle PRT is equal to TRS. Why? Because the whole angle is divided into two equal halves. So, angle PRS na, angle PRT plus TRS santanaru bari bodu. Atwa, two times TRS santanaru bari bodu. Why? Both the angles formed by the bisector are same or equal. So, PRS is two times of TRS andre. Hange na, PQR will be twice of T, T, TQR, sorry, PQR is 2 times of TQR, therefore 2 times TRS is EQR, it is just the reverse concept I have used, Andre, if at all, uh, why we choose uh, PRS to be 2 times of TRS, because the two angles formed both are equal or same. So, 2 times TRS. Similarly, children, this PQR, angle PQR is there. Now, it is twice of TQR. Why? Because this angle, whole angle Q is splitted into PQT plus TQR by the bisector QT. So, 2 times of this angle Q, uh, Q is nothing but this half plus this half of the bisector. Hence, we can write PQR is 2 times of TQR. At PQT plus TQR bariyo badlo. It is just 2 times of TQR. Why? Because PQT is equal to TQR since the bisector divides the angle into equal halves. These two concepts, you listen once again, you will understand. Therefore, 2 times of TRS... This we will write ashta. Ye no to idhrin da yen bari bod na wo. 2 times of TRS is 2 times of TQR plus QPR. 2 times of TRS is 2 times of TQR plus angle Q. And exterior angle is sum of interior opposite angles. That is theorem 3.8 we are applying here. Exterior angle yao do pa TRS. So TRS plus T, TP sorry TQR plus. 2 times of TRS and PQPRT plus TRS badlu, 2 times of TRS we are writing that is equal to what interior opposite yavdu, P and angle Q. Angle P ke bisector illa so we should write as it is but angle Q has bisector which is the bisector QT is the bisector. So QT when we divide you get two angles PQT plus TQR but since both the angles are equal two times of TQR and the directly I am writing. Hope you understood children. Now just rearranging the terms. QPR is equal to written here. Therefore QPR will be 2 times TRS plus 2 TQR minus 2 times of TQR. In the next step QPR as it is from 2 times TRS minus 2 times TQR. I am taking out 2 as common factor. So TRS minus TQR I am calling it as equation 2. Now substitute equation 1 in 2. QRS is what? Sorry, sorry. What we have is uh, uh, QPR. This QPR is, this 2 I am writing. QPR as it is I will write children. 2 as it is I am writing. What is TRS minus TQR? In equation TRS minus TQR is what? QTR. So substituting 1 and 2 gives me in place of TRS and TQR. I will write QTR. How? From equation 1. E LHS, RHS, to same same. LHS now I am writing. Replacing the step. So QTR, so if I write like this, it may confuse you, I am feeling. So what I will do is, children, I got QPR is 2 times of QTR. So, 
half of QPR is angle QTR. What I did is we wanted to prove QTR is half of QPR. So I got QPR is two times of QTR. QTR na hangi it kondra. QTR hangi it kondra. QPR in between two and angle TQR multiplication is there. So if I send two to other side it becomes divided by. That is nothing but half of QPR. QTR is half of QPR. That is what was the proof required and hence we have proved. So nothing we have applied children. The concept of exterior angle is sum of interior opposite angle is one concept we are applied. And the bisector the drawn to both the angles is dividing the bisect that angle into two equal angles. Hence instead of taking it as two separate angles, one the angle labeling na tagotai didi. A angle labeling hengi de tagobekunta gotagata and the question may arise in your mind. How means based on the asked proof you will decide that children. So this completes the exercise 3.3 .3, as well as the lesson chapter lines and angles. So please watch the video, go through the uh, video again and again, solve the problems, uh, try to apply the concepts on your own. See children, I have solved in this method. If at all you, you get any other concept to apply or if you want to solve in different method, no, I never confine you to stick on to the method which I do or the steps which I follow. If you want to apply your own uh, uh, steps or do it in a different way, but you should note what um, go away from the concept. The concepts theorems you should not skip or uh, manipulate according to you. According to that only, if at all you want to do in any other easier method if you find children, yes of course you are welcome, your ideas are always welcome and even you can do that. But please send me the solution if at all you do it that way so that I can just check if any mistakes are there children. So this completes the lesson lines and angles. So till now children, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 lessons we have completed and we are left with 3 more lessons in part 1 textbook for your upcoming essay 1 exam. So what we will do is next I will start with constructions chapter and we will solve the triangles chapter, quadrilaterals we will shift on to the next semester. So uh, this completes the lesson lines and angles. You have separate playlist in the YouTube. Please go through all the videos there and any doubts you can ask.